Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I do want to come on here and talk about this racist act that happened at University of Mississippi. One of the fraternities, I saw the video of um, this black woman who was heckled by like the whole fraternity. Y'all, the, the video was really shocking to see. I was like, okay, I'm not too surprised it's Mississippi y'all if you're from Mississippi um every, everybody's not like this but there there's a lot of racism that happened there too y'all I can say that because um I can say that because I live in the south okay I hear all these crimes that happen down here in the south Mississippi is definitely one of those I would never step don't ever want to step foot in there's a lot of cases down there racist acts and it makes sense I'm not surprised I wouldn't even be surprised if this happened in Alabama I'd be like, okay, I expect it because there's so much that happens there. Now, this video was about a black woman who I guess she was protesting the um the war, the Israel Hamas war. Now, y'all, this geez, everybody protesting this war. It's like the students, y'all know what's been going on. The colleges, they um a lot of colleges were pro like um, a lot of graduations were postponed. I'm, I would be so first of all, I'm sorry, I'll be so pissed if my I, I waited. I'm so happy I got to walk across the stage. Thank God because you know I was like my there wasn't really nothing happening in my school. It was like posted this stuff. It is somebody was taking them down. Whole lot of thing going on with that. But um, I was able to walk across the stage. Thank God. But a lot of those like in California, you know, California, New York, they like a lot of people postponed their graduation and couldn't um walk because of all this because it was like protests happening people was camping out it was a lot and it still is a lot um people was just like and these students was who was graduating was just taking over the graduation and i don't understand why not do that the day after y'all all worked for this i just didn't understand that so this woman i'm guessing she was up here protesting for some reason in front of these in front of this home i guess um most likely because we're gonna read this article maybe because the school funded you know that's what these students been saying that the, this college that's fun is real i don't know nothing about that okay i'm not getting to that but she was heckled and they was like um making some racist remarks one dude who was suspended was doing like the monkey noise and that's what I wanted to talk about okay I just don't understand why are we still at this point of racism with monkey noises let me give y'all a little history lesson real quick look I'm an anthropology um lover major I got a bachelor's in anthropology I can finally say that I have a bachelor's in anthropology first of all some people need to learn the animals when they want to say monkey noises it's an ape we're not we don't come from monkeys we come from apes by the way we're not the only ones every human being has evolved from apes so um i don't see this stuff as racist even though it is you know everybody think it is i'm like we're all apes and um these idiots who do these remarks don't understand that they're also apes it's not monkeys okay you're not a monkey so when they be like oh you look like a monkey i'm like learn your animals honey it's an ape and you're one too that's all you gotta say i wouldn't even take it to heart i'm just like really dude do you know where you came from he'll probably say fish i don't know they people don't know the history of nothing but like um i just don't understand the reason about doing it it's like what is that supposed to be funny is that supposed to be funny because it's not a lot of white people look like apes a lot of black people look like apes. we all look like apes okay you know if y'all look at the history of it Y'all, I got a whole book if you want a lesson, okay? I could give y'all a lesson over, like, um, hominid species. If you don't know what that is, that's an ape. <laughs> it's like, this is what we evolved from. And, you know, there's people who don't believe this. <sighs> you know what? I, I'm not going to get into that because, you know, people stress me out who don't believe until, like, evolution. Let's stop. I don't understand the racist remarks for people with black people. And it's always white people, white and black. They will always be like, always be a comparison and hatred for one another. Slowly, not everybody is like this now, but there are those people. Okay, now these dudes. Of course, one dude, the dude who was doing the um the ape noise, and they need to stop. I'm like, stop saying monkey. It was an ape, but like they don't know either. The person who writing this obviously don't know. A lot of people just don't think that they think a monkey and an ape. Sorry, y'all. Anthropology hit kick in. They be thinking monkey and apes are the same thing. They're not. They're not the same thing this is they're not in the same family okay get that y'all learn go study anyways just go go study that but anyways they um the fact that they helped with her they call her fat color her lizzo just so disgusting so let's, let's read the article okay let me read the article so i can stop getting too mad
congressman partly backtracks his praise of campus conflict that included racial gestures. And this is the part of the video, like, look at the American flag, y'all. It tells you everything. And it, don't never trust a dude who wears the whole American flag. Don't, no matter how cute they are. Don't, okay? <laughs> So Jackson, Mississippi, a Republican congressman on Monday backtracked on some of his campus um, praise for um, a campus conflict that included a man who made monkey noises, not even going to get into it, and gestures at a black student who was protesting the Israel Hamas war. The rep Mike Collins of Georgia said he understands and respects feedbacks about one person during the protest of the University of Mississippi. If that person is found to have treated another human being improperly because of their race, they should be punished appropriately and will seek will hopefully seek forgiveness, Collins wrote on the social media site X. Frankly, frankly, I did not believe that to be the focal point of the video shared at the time, but I recognize that the sir that there is certain scene, certainly seems to be some potentially inappropriate behavior that none of us should seek to glorify. A national fraternity, meanwhile, has said said it has removed one of its members for racist actions uh, at the University of Mississippi as a large group of students heckled a small group of pro Palestinian protesters. The racial the racist actions in the video were those of an individual and are in, in it, oh God, what is that? antithetical to the values of, is it Pi Data Theta? Delta by Pi Delta Theta? I don't know these fraternities. I know them, but I just never said a name, y'all. In the Mississippi Alpha Chapter, the National Fraternity said in a statement Sunday, the responsible individual was removed from membership. Yeah, right. The Associated Press left voice messages for the fraternity asking whether the student was removed. Was one Sean making the monkey noises? Y'all, okay, let me stop. Sorry, my anthropology mind just really stressed me out when people don't get that right. <laughs> there was no immediate response. The fraternity did not release his name. Collins was first elected to Congress. Okay, it's about him. Okay, here we go. A black woman was victim to pandering, racist remarks and gestures, and hateful speech with the hope of breeding fear, isolation, and retreat. Who wrote that? Johnson? Saturday on X. She marched forward anyway. I hope races like Mike Collins took note on that as well. Collins said Monday that he admired students who stand up for pro-Hamas, anti-American protests, including at schools such as University of Georgia. I believe any school like Ole Miss um, or UGA that allows that does not allow the occupy, occupiers to run roughshod. God, these sentences. Who is making it talk normal? <laughs> or maybe I just can't read. <laughs> Nobody was arrested during the demonstration of the university. Okay, that's just... Uh, okay, anyway, y'all, we just talking about this. The student newspaper, the Dela Mississippian, reported that about 30 protesters on the Oxford campus built themselves at U Miss for Palestine. Videos and photos from the event showed the po um, protesters were in a grassy area near the main library, blocked off. They chanted, free, free Palestine, and um, carried Palestinian flags and signs with slogans, including to stop the genocide and the U.S. bombs take Palestine lives. Y'all, with the war, I get it. I know I get everybody's side of this. Okay, my 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 head hurt because I'm like, I feel like people protest, but it's not like they're gonna do anything just because we say it. Realistically, like, don't hate me for saying that because I'm not against all of this. I get protested for it. I get it. It's sad, and hopefully, it's gonna stop soon. But. This has nothing, I always say this has nothing to do with us. We always stick our nose in business that ain't got nowhere to be. They say it has something to do with us because Israel, um, America uh, supplies Israel, which I actually think they just did supply like billions of dollars of aid or weapons to Israel, which I think is actually crazy. I'm like, really? I kind of get that part now, why people mad. But this is, this is politics. They're not going to listen to us, so what is this gonna do that's what i'm trying to say so student um student journalist stacy j spiller shot video that showed campus police officers and the dean of students standing between anti-war protesters and hecklers after the black women protesting the war had what appeared to be a heated exchange of words this is the video um with several white hecklers one of the men made the monkey gestures and noises at her about 76 of this 76 percent of the universities is white and 11 are black you know, I swear, every time, every, time, every time they do the stats of, like, the thing, it's always black and white. What is the, what are the other ones? Well, obviously, it's, like, 90-some, 80-something. I don't know, okay? It's always, obviously, more white people in this world. But, yeah, it's just interesting. But that's how you know, y'all, with these, the reason why, these, it's a lot of racist stuff. And I told y'all, they hide in plain sight. 
Um, University of Mississippi Chandler Glenn Boyd said the school is committed to people expressing their views. He said some statements uh, made on campus Thursday were offensive and unacceptable. In another statement Friday, Boyd said one student conducted conduct an investigation had been open and university's leaders were working to determine more um, cases are warranted. To be clear, people who say horrible things to people because of who they are will not be find will not find shelter or comfort on this campus. That's what every it's like a motto they gotta say or something. I swear y'all but that's where it's at y'all the video um i saw it i saw the video she was walking up there like with her camera yelling at them and they was all yelling at her and um then the dude was like he was like doing like this making like a little monkey gesture i'm like dude that's not, we're not even monkeys okay you're not a monkey either you're a ape my guy learn it so that's not gonna hurt me i'd be like if somebody said it i'd be like i'm not even a monkey like learn your animals monkeys are not like what that's not funny but we all come from um apes they are, they almost got me y'all we all come from apes so that's not funny to me i don't even find a racist i don't find a racist i just I'm like it's not funny that's all it is it's just not funny but yeah we we would never leave these these moments of just idiotic behaviors why did it like why do you have to like purpose purposely like hurt somebody you know what it is though i think People, they, they just try to jump on the bandwagon. They don't understand. Um, they don't understand what they're doing. I'm like, that just shows you that some people really are, are just like, they're followers. They like, they think it's funny. Or they're just racist. I don't know. But I wanted to come out here and tell y'all this, okay? It's just, it's so stupid. And just just so stupid and the video was quick it's like it saw, showed him like a second that's why i was like how did they pick that dude out but everybody was yelling at this woman and i would have just i would if i was her i would have just left but they made a fool of themselves all them people all them fraternities and i know people were talking about um they was like they want the whole fraternity shut down and i'm like i don't know that ain't my my um my college i graduated i don't know but yeah really stupid what do you guys think um I call about I, I call just about every state in the South racist. So don't be surprised about that, y'all. That's just me and um living in the South is hearing all these cases in the South and it be the towns they in. I'm like, yeah, they are like mostly white and they do all love the American flag. But any but never trust a guy who wear the American flag, no matter how cute he is. Cause some of these white dudes they do be they do be fine. But if you got the whole if you wearing the whole American flag, back up on my face. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video this was weird but that's what politics do you know this war has been making other everybody crazy over here and I, I like i said i see both sides so i'll see you guys on the next video i had to come on here and talk about this what do you guys think bye